But I've burned 24 inch straight walnut logs. Just burned them up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They would have been beautiful saw logs. And we it's. Can't be friends <laughs> I, was, I was just a lowly employee. I was a saw man carrying out. Oh, I see. Little tricks of the trade there. My truck in an okay spot. <laughs> well, a lot of mills are four post mills. Mm -hmm. And this is considered a what? Cantilever head. So cantilever head. Everything everything runs off of this rail right here. Okay. With cam followers on the top and the bottom. Yes. Then these two are gonna be off. And then you fix these and then you got these. And it's just constant back and forth. Mm -hmm. This is super simple. You lift it up or down. And honestly, all the years that I've worked on these things, I mean, the ones that actually needed adjusted were used and abused for it. I think they just... Oh, you finish your cut? Uh -huh. Like you're going through your cut, you know, to take your cap off, and you go, okay, now I want a two-inch board. Is that that? Actually, I want a three-inch off of there. Set my pattern to three inch, so when I lift up and come back, drop down. Wow. Three inch cut with the surgical blade figure in. Really? Automatically? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's why you changed it? is so cool i knew that it went on its own but i totally forgot about it you know like when you let go of it i'm like man because you know i'm walking all along the whole way you know that's so much less work man i mean i was just looking at that board there you know i mean just well just flipping the can yeah you know flipping the can i mean a piece of oak like that is oh, you, you'll kill your back astonishing it's so heavy like so that tag will tell tell me more, exactly more about it so ancestry is it's a it's a app that my sister and a team of other people have been working on for about three years. So it basically, you, you can track your tree from where it was fallen, you know, came out of grandma's yard or came off of a property on the lake or whatever. And you can track it to milling, to lumber out of the kiln, into the stores, everything. So you can keep perfect inventory log and it follows that key tag. So once you cut it, you scan that in again with your phone, it's super simple. And then you tag your boards. So you tag each board in, or you can tag a skip if they're all together. You attach it to that QR code. So okay. it tracks the history of the tree all the way from forest to final form. Because that's the biggest problem in this industry is everybody's got small mills, everybody does this kind of work, but they can't track it. And then the cool thing about it is, it's going to go onto an Amazon type store and that's the next phase of the app. So you can actually post your, your material on that site. So say there's 10 people that have, you know, 15 oak logs that they're milling up. Mm -hmm. They don't have enough to fill a great big order. Okay. You know, one person. Yeah. 
Yeah. But all ten of them can put their supplies on that I on see. that app, and then your big buy, your in buyer can look at it and go, okay, I want all of this. Cool. So it it's it's really cool. It gives it gives us a, an opportunity to compete with Georgia Pacific and Sierra Pacific and those kind of guys gotcha. on a different level. The, yeah, the little the little guy has an opportunity to market right their their material and um, basically a form to be able to sell it. But there's another camera. Nine and a half. Almost a two by ten, really. Yeah. Or it is a two by ten half. So when you do two by are you cutting two by two by So he likes to cut full dimension lumber. So he's uh, going after two buys on this one. I cannot believe how effortless that is. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. So you're gonna knock those off? Okay. Oh, I see. Little tricks of the trade there. Little tricks. I mean, how yeah. many of these trees end up in a landfill or firewood? Or, or, or burn in a burn pile. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's one thing in this part of the country, everybody, is wood is, this stuff is so heavy and so cumbersome to move and firewood doesn't have all that much value. So guys that are clearing land, they typically will push them 
and burn them. You see it going down the highway all the yeah. time. Big right piles. Here on 59. Cherry, <laughs> yeah. cherry walnut. Yeah. I can't tell you how much walnut I've burned. I've burned 24 inch straight walnut logs. Just burned them up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They would have been beautiful saw logs. And we it's, can't be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just the lowly employee. I was a saw man yeah. carrying out, cutting off the, the, the stumps and bucking them so the 316 yep. could pick up the tree. I'd, I'd cut a, I'd take a, a walnut tree and cut it in three. Mm -hmm. And and the 316 or a skid steer would come and grapple it and put it in a burn pile. Yep. And just, and, and it was crazy. It, it, made, it, it made me so sad because again, you know, I had that sawmill, but it's like, I can't handle this. Yeah. I, I can't, I can't move it. Um, it's insane. Let's go look at your wood pile. Can we go take a look yeah. at this? So this is all stuff that you're going to sawmill up then? Yeah, this will all be milled. So how, how, what's the, what's the length capacity on that? 21 feet. You can do 21 feet. Yep. You can weasel a 42, 43 inch log through there, but you got to keep cutting and turning and cutting and turning. Okay. Wow. And so are, what are these bucked at approximately here? Uh, that one's just under Hardwood, you're bucking them where they're straight. You yeah, know? yeah, trying to so yeah. you're not having all that run out. Yeah, cut waste, waste yeah. basically. Yeah, I, I understand that because on my big, uh, this is sycamore, huh? Yeah, yep. sycamore, and uh, that's another thing around here. People don't use sycamore for anything. They don't burn it. That 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 is an automatic go to the burn pile. And it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous wood. Gorgeous wood. Yeah, like quarter saws it's, beautifully. Yeah, it, it, it actually has very similar characteristics to the white oak with it but it's yes. small right like instead flex. of the big my, my buddy has you know his his grandfather he's a logger around here and uh, and his grandfather built a barn out of sycamore and he said that the wood gets super hard and it's lasted forever it is it is a great barn wood material there's a lot of barns built out of cottonwood yeah I mean, as long as you keep the water off of it and keep it mm -hmm. keep it dry it'll last Oh my gosh, look at that sycamore up there. That's oh huge. yeah, that's, that's huge. The out of this tree. Is it? Okay. That's actually the one, if you remember the video, the one that I yes. cut and stood back up. Yes. <laughs> that's yes. it. That's it. Well, what's crazy is, I was saying that's huge. It's huge for me because I've never really worked with trees that big very much. But sycamore is getting so big out here. That's one of the trees that you'll see oftentimes mm -hmm. very large is a sycamore. I mean, there's one down down the road. Down, I was down just going to say. Tell um, us about it. And then we um, we were down there, and then there's a huge white oak, maybe not a white oak, or not a white oak, sycamore, um, and it's uh, huge. Big? Would you say that uh, that sycamore is down probably at the about two or three inches bigger than that one? Two? No, it's no, no, it's no, probably it's a, huge. Yeah, it's probably another foot bigger than that in diameter. Yeah. And and what that one right there is, uh, I think the reason why it's so big, it's sitting in the bottom where and it's in a cove. So that it's, it's getting into all that water. It's <laughs> it's like a fine, buddy. Uh -huh. A black widow. A black widow. I just opened it right there. <laughs> Where? Four and a half foot. Oh my gosh. Come here, come over here and look at this thing. Can I see that tape real quick? Wait. The widest part. Fifty-four inches across. That is probably the widest part. Would you say? This is the second cut. That's the stump over there. Oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, because this is where it starts lying out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. gosh. Look at that. <laughs> oh. oh man. You're about right there to the far edge. Far edge right there. So this is oh right right to here. It's 57 inches across right here. And again, the butt's on the yeah, oh no, this is actually the this was the butt, this was the flare. Yeah. Yeah, because this is where the hinge was. Wow, look at this hinge wood. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's a big and that's a big and a little oh, bit wow. of rot in it. <laughs> Look how big these growth rings are. Oh my gosh. Look how big those are. So They're like not... three eighths of an inch. That's not that old, bud. You were probably born before this. <laughs> Wait. I might have been. I might have been. You, no, I probably yeah, not. I these uh, these outer growth rings are really, really large. small, but these are these are big. I think that's am I looking at that right, Jason? Yeah. That, that that's that's a growth ring right there. That's my whole. Let's see here. What do we got here? That is three quarters of an inch. If I if you start on um, three inch right there, you want to see some big trees? Oh yeah. Hey. Oh wow. Will this you, is our will, last. Will you shoot job. me some of them? Will you shoot me some of them pictures? Yeah. If oh, it's gosh. okay. Holy crud. Oh That's my gosh. That's what a chainsaw gosh. looks like. That's what a chainsaw <laughs> looks like. <laughs>
That's funny. So I'm like, I'm freaking out about this, but I can't. I mean, I've it's seen, tiny. I've, it is tiny in comparison. I've, I've been to the redwoods and seen those, but I've never seen one cut up. Yeah. You know, and those things have some pretty big growth, growth rings too, don't they? Actually, some of them. Those were. I mean, there's years where they're pretty big, but there's 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 places where you have to use a microscope to see. Yeah. I mean, it's like super incredible. Tight. Incredible. Depending upon we the the, the biggest one that we that we did we we measured where we counted the rings over a course of an inch in like 10 or 12 different spots and then averaged it out and we figured that one tree was between 22 and 2700 years old cutting a piece of wood that was alive when jesus was on the earth yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah it's that's pretty wild to think of that is crazy that is crazy